Yeah, look who plants, no? Then our farm herbs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this different, especially for blood circulation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can try this also. As you have witnessed our project, I do hope that you will get an idea to go more further for the coming future. I wish you all the best. We can say, we can use it as a cultivating farming. Integrated farming also helps in... Integrated farming also includes products of animals farm from which both plants and animals benefit to each other. From the dairy farm, the dairy waste can be disposed to the fishy ponds or can be also used for natural manure. Fertility of the soil and promote healthy and abundant growth of vegetables and plants. We can prepare a <coughs> compost pit by digging a hole in the ground and put the unwanted land or weeds or kitchen waste, etc., and cover with wood. We can make a hole in the top of the pit so that we can pour water from time to time let, to let the plant grow. But I would like to take this opportunity to express my and Doris Negro's sincere thanks and gratitude to the entire community and the uh, people in the region. What better reasons can we find to celebrate, celebrate this as a festival? A hearty congratulations to NAN Resource Center Sesame for showing the way. Rediscovering indigenous science would also mean to revive traditional knowledge and indigenous people's perspectives for a sustainable future or livelihood. I'm truly happy for this and uh, you know, this will be an eye-opener for me to really see what is the work that you all are doing. Now, actually you put my name in the keynote address, but I'm learning so much. I don't know how far I do justice because things that I'm seeing now, it's the first-hand information that I'm getting only today. So I hope I'll be able to do justice and the first Network 